song in its feel is deliberately echoing our debut release, Adam Catmon. So the feel of it, the tempo, the use of the cajon is deliberate. So it's like after the jazziness of um, Catatonia Boulevard, you're sort of back to your roots with a, a more mystical type vibe. In the world of cinematography, Louis de Marocain is a technique that is day for night. So you're making day look like night using filters on the camera. This is a metaphor for a general uncertainty. So that you're looking at an image and you're not quite sure is it day, is it night, is it moonlight, is it dawn? And then when we look at the, the lyrics themselves, there's great uncertainty and double meaning there as well. And then we American. Everything we do is quite noir and monochrome. I knew that those monochrome murals were just they were the correct fit for our brand. Also because we love a wee bit of David Bowie. I knew that his image was there, so to have me um, posing at his image or walking across it was just a, a must-have. We need the true relation. I'm standing there like Mycroft Holmes or John Steed, and I look totally out of place with the hat and the umbrella. It's like I've got lost on the way to or from the office and I'm juxtaposed with a skater park and a concrete jungle all around me. And you can see me looking this way and that and looking to the town and just trying to get my burns in a very bleak, featureless urban landscape. Even legs, when I look behind your eyes so it's um, bringing to life the line of the song, we've got the hard copy. So the creator turns up with his um, draft script or treatment for a novel or a screenplay. And I'm there like Alan Sugar or Simon Cobb to say yay or nay to it. You'll never recognize him again. All the choices I make are deliberate on all my platforms and in a Jamak video every image is deliberate so I was playing a role there of um, scrutinising or appreciating a very striking image in a very iconic alleyway. You'll never trust the darkness You'll never believe in light when I look behind your eyes In a weird American We're approaching the halfway point of this album and our intent is to have as many different musical genres as possible on the album to a point because we're eclectic and quirky Track 5 is going to be totally left field, it's called Glad and we're thinking of maybe a disco or funky vibe and we're going to be pulling in a female vocalist for the first time ever. It'll be very up tempo and very brassy in its instrumentation. You'll never trust the darkness, you'll never... Sean and Jim it was their idea and they gently coaxed me into the idea of uh, singing. So it was officially Jamok's live debut uh, as a band. Everything prior to that had been cottage industry, studio recordings in this home. 
um, but it was long overdue after COVID and lockdown that we would take the stage and have a blast at our debut single. 